Welcome to TCM, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Up next, the second movie in our five picture lineup of Warner Brothers films from the 1940s starring Peter Lorre and Sidney Greenstreet. Lorre and Greenstreet co-starred in eight dramas together over five years. They worked together in a ninth film as themselves, Hollywood Canteen, where they spoofed their generally morally ambiguous on-screen personas. Their biggest hits were certainly their first two pictures together, The Maltese Falcon and Casablanca, but we're spending the night with Laurie and Greenstreet's Deep Tracks. Up next, their last film together from Warner Brothers in 1946, The Verdict. Greenstreet plays a Scotland Yard superintendent fired from his job and replaced by an arrogant detective. He sets out to even the score with the help of a sinister artist played by Peter Laurie. The Verdict was directed by Don Siegel, making his feature film directorial debut. We'll have a bit more about Siegel and his significant career after the film. Siegel, who had directed the montage sequence at the beginning of Casablanca, was thrilled to work with Greenstreet and Laurie. He called them a perfect team and later described the way they worked together, which amuses me immensely. Siegel said that Greenstreet, quote, studied his lines and knew them cold, while Laurie would walk on the set and politely ask the script clerk what the name of this studio was. Then he would borrow her script as he had mislaid his somewhere. According to Siegel, Greenstreet didn't care what Laurie said or what he did, just as long as his cue lines remained exactly the same. And Laurie said Siegel always lived up to this rule. From 1946, also with Joan Loring, George Kalouris, and Rosalind Ivan, The Verdict. The Verdict was directed by Don Siegel, a vastly underappreciated filmmaker who'd never directed a feature film before, but he'd been working in the industry for years. Siegel started out at Warner Brothers as an assistant film librarian, then worked his way up to the head of the montage department, where he shot transition sequences for movies like Casablanca. Siegel directed that opening montage in Casablanca. He also directed several short films, including two that won Oscars in the mid-1940s. He made his feature directorial debut with The Verdict in 1946, then went on to enjoy a successful career as a director for the next 35 years. His credits include Invasion of the Body Snatchers, Hell is for Heroes, Charlie Varick, and John Wayne's final film, The Shootist. Moreover, he became a close friend and collaborator with Clint Eastwood. Siegel directed Eastwood in five films, including Dirty Harry, The Beguiled, and Escape from Alcatraz, he even had a cameo as a bartender in Eastwood's directorial debut, Play Misty for Me, from 1971. Up next, our night of Sidney Greenstreet and Peter Lorre movies continues with another London-based crime drama, also released in 1946.